All right, FIFA 18 legit starts you up with a free kick. I'm pretty sure this is a free kick you legit can't miss. Like, whatever you do, this is going to go in the back of the net. And it is. Have a look at that, boys. Haaland was 67 rated back on FIFA 18. 67 for Haaland. Alfonso Davies was 72. A lot better, though. Cutting inside. Iron Robin. Finesse shot. Please go in. Oh, we did it, guys. We cut inside with Robin and we score. What a moment. Let's go. Here we are, guys, back again with another special video on the channel. We're looking back at a previous FIFA title, Retro FIFA, and this time it's going to be FIFA 18. This was also the year we had cutscenes in career mode for the first time. So that was pretty big for the career mode scene as well. Now, if you guys do enjoy these retro FIFA videos, I'd really appreciate if you could drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new around here. I record these videos on Twitch, so if you guys want to see the behind the scenes stuff and watch me live, links will be in the description. You guys love it when we take a look at the player ratings of previous FIFAs, and we'll start off with Barcelona. By the way, look at the kits from back then. So much cleaner, I feel. I, I love this edition of the kits. Let's take a look at Barca's player ratings, okay? 92 Suarez and a 94 Messi. Back then, they had Rakitic, Coutinho. To be fair, Barca's team isn't all that different. They had a fair few of the meme players like Yerimina, who now plays for Everton, if I'm not wrong. Paulinho was back then a Barca player. I think Bayern will be an interesting one because they've definitely ha like made a fair few signings and their team looks a lot different. Yeah, they had Ribéry and Robin together. Well, that's completely gone now. Yo, now they've got Sane, Coman and all. Lewandowski is still there. No Thiago as well. Of course, Thiago plays for Liverpool regardless. But, oh wait, Thiago is there. What am I even saying? He's there. Uh, Kingsley Coman is still there. He's on the bench though. Arturo Vidal, probably when he was near his best, you know, at Bayern. To be fair, he was at his best at Juve, I guess. But, well, there's the Bayern team. Let's take a look at Juve back when um, they didn't sacrifice all their finances to bring in Ronaldo. Let's see what they were looking like. Dybala was probably their main man back then. A 90-rated Gonzalo Higuain. What on earth? I remember he had like a crazy season with Napoli, then moved to Juve and started scoring a ton of goals anyways. Douglas Costa, Matuidi, Pjanic was there. Of course, Buffon, 89-rated Marquisio. Who remembers Marquisio, guys? He was so OP in FIFA, honestly. An 89-rated Chiellini just chilling in the bench. Inter Milan, I think, would be an interesting team to look at because they're right now top of the Serie A. I think after this, we'll move to the Prem Clubs. Icardi. Well, well, well. He was their captain as well and he was just sold off. Perisic was there. Yo, Rafinha playing for Inter. He's he's just being moved around at different clubs nowadays, you know? Uh, they've got Brozovic. It was a terrible team. Cancelo, 79 back then. Oh, Romelu Lukaku at Man United. Jesse Lingard, by the way, who is in... Probably the best form of his life right now. Pogba, Herrera, Matic. Sanchez, 88. Was this just when he signed for United after being amazing for Arsenal? Ashley Young's in here, Smalling. Valencia captain, uh, captains them. They've got Fellaini. I'm not sure if Liverpool had signed uh, Van Dijk by this time. Maybe they have. Let's take a look, guys. Maybe they have. I think they have. Oh, they have, but he's only 84 rated. Van Dijk, 84 rated, which is 76 sprint speed. That's... No, 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 no. And, oh, Trent, just 75 back then. Boggling. Robertson, 79. Firmino, 85. A bit of respect. There's Salah, 87. Mane, only an 84. Nah. Yikes. They had Emre Chan. They had Mignolet. Did they have Karius? Oh, my God. The Liverpool keeper, guys. Loris Karius in there. Brilliant. Joe Gomez, only a 73. Marip, 82. Unreal. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be choosing Manchester City because I've got so much cash we can spend on a few good players and see how transfers and everything work. I'm pretty sure this was the first year they added the cutscenes, so should be interesting. By the way, guys, this was back when EA didn't have the licenses for the Champions League. I'm pretty sure they got that in FIFA 20, if I'm not wrong. So it's called the Champions Cup right now, which is what it is. But I do love the fact that the Premier League table looks like this. It was much easier to see with sub, but... Oh, well, no Champions League is a big L, man. I'm pretty sure on the FIFA 17 video we did, they didn't have it either, and they didn't have it now as well. Our team is already pretty sick, but we got to get a better left back, man. We got to get a better left back. Probably, I'm looking for like a winger as well. We'll just make some crazy signings and have fun with this. I remember signing Mbappe in FIFA 17 and being disappointed with how weird his face looks. So, I want to sign him again and see if this time, if EA have given him a face, but... 
Well, I don't think we can take a look at that because he is on loan at PSG. I think this was the year PSG loaned him in and, you know, got like a uh, loan to buy clause on him. So we unfortunately cannot sign Mbappe. He's 18 and already 84 rated. How crazy is that? Alfonso Davies back on FIFA 18, 16 years old. Contract expiring. I just want to see his overall, guys. I really do. Alfonso Davies. We might just sign him for the bands. He's one of the best left backs right now. But back then, he was playing in the US. Pretty average. Also, guys, that trim, that trim needs to go. And by the way, he does not even have a player face. So let's just approach to buy and see what's up. The cutscene's still the same. Okay, <laughs> that, that didn't really work. We might need to pay a bit more for him. I guess we'll scout him and then decide. But that left back spot for now seems like Marcelo is a great shout. This was when he was back in his prime and I'd love to try out maybe him in FIFA 18. So we're going to try and sign Marcelo for the video. And this time, hopefully I won't mess up the negotiations. We'll offer about 45 million and see what's up. 45 million. I think that's a fair offer. There you go. Zizou agrees brilliant fifa 18 players would actually smart and ask for more wages when they were moving clubs like look at this marcelo is actually asking for a wage bump was this so difficult da please bring it back for future fifas it's way more realistic right now players when they're moving new clubs are willing to like cut their salary down pretty much play for free if you ask them to i mean it's it's stupid but well for now we're just gonna accept that i kind of wanted to sign iniesta because you guys know i'm a barca fan he was 87 rated, but he's just joined Vissel Kobe, so we can't make that happen, for unfortunately. Okay, guys, I take that back. Erling Braut Haaland was in the game, which just that the game doesn't recognize his spelling. We'll scout all these youngsters and see what their ratings are. Kind of want to sign a player that's insane on FIFA 18, but not really so much now. Play like uh, Iron Robin fits that perfectly, so we're going to try and sign him. Roma want him as well. I'm just not going to waste time here. Let's just pay the release clause and get the deal done. I still cannot believe how realistic contract negotiations were back on FIFA 18. Like, look at this. Robin is asking for a way bigger amount than he would probably do on FIFA 21. It's mad. Like, look at this. He's asking for a £60,000 uh, increase, which is realistic. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's... Things were much better on FIFA 18, like contract negotiations-wise. Okay, so we've got our scout reports on Haaland and Davies, and let's see... Haaland was 67 rated back on FIFA 18. 67 for Haaland. Yo. Alfonso Davies was 72. A lot better though. To be fair, Davies started out pretty high rated on FIFA. Fair enough. I think I'm done with the signings and all. We're just going to sim until the end. And what we'll do, guys, is if we get to like a final or something or the final Prem game of the season, we'll play and have some fun with the likes of Robin and all and Marcelo in his prime. And we'll also put Yaya Torre in the 11 to make that happen. So, should be fun. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, look at how bad press conferences were back then. This was it. I remember this. We, It was so stupid. Like, press conferences, you could, like, unnerve a manager or praise him, but it has no impact on anything whatsoever. For example, I'm going to unnerve Mourinho. And now look what comes in the news tab. There should be something in here about Mourinho and me. Uh, where's it gone? Manager questions Jose Mourinho's signings. He must be very disappointed with some of his signings. They're clearly not good enough to play in this league. Wow. I cannot believe we're allowed to say that. <laughs> Brilliant. Guys, um, I've simmed to the end, but we're probably going to get sacked at this point. Doesn't matter, but still 61 manager rating. United have won the league. We're just about in the top four. What about the other competitions? Um, we, We're not winning the FA Cup. We're not winning the Carabao Cup. Well, we're not winning the Champions League. We didn't... Well, we got knocked out by Atleti. Um, yikes. We we literally did nothing with such a good squad. I don't even know how that happened, but oh well. Look at how players used to downgrade back on FIFA 18. Torre down to a 77 in one season. Robin down by a couple of ratings. On FIFA 21, one thing I do like, you can pretty much retain high overalls for the older players for a fair bit, so... That was there. But anyways, that's the team we're using for our only game on FIFA 18. I hope I'm not regretting playing this on Legendary, guys, because I don't remember how the FIFA 18 mechanics were. But let's get into this one. Honestly, if you'd put FIFA 18... Uh, if you guys, Wait, basically, I'll have to do that part again. Honestly, if you guys show me 
you know, a segment of FIFA 18, the cutscenes and all, I wouldn't even, like, know which FIFA it was because this looks so similar to FIFA 21. Honestly, the, the player models and all, yeah, <laughs> like, literally, looks just the same. But one thing I will say, the colors on, like, older FIFAs, for some reason, were just so much more vibrant, like, like, for real. Now, not so much, but we're just getting ripped apart right now. Like, look at the grass. The grass looks so much better back in the day. It's probably because of the difference in lighting. I saw this same thing on FIFA 17 as well. Oh, here we go with Marcelo. This should be fun. Marcelo breaking through. I would love to score maybe a long shot with him. Instead, I go for the pass. Didn't really work. I don't remember how to defend, though, so I'm just banking on attacking. Aguero from distance strikes it and almost goes in. Pretty sure long shots were OP back on 18 so we'll be trying to maybe get one from distance yeah yeah Tore. i want to score a long shot with tore please game just let me score that long shot with him please let's see yeah yeah tore is broken through still yeah yeah tore i'm trying a driven shot straight at goal driven shots back then oh my god you could literally score them from any angle i think so we'll try and get one i think i'm playing well so far but i'm not sure how to like get into proper good scoring positions that's that's the problem I'm having here. And now Southampton on the charge with Hoiberg. Looking for that pass. Edison with a big save. For a moment, I thought he'd be called offside, but he wasn't. Oh, Silva's turned him there. Silva. Finesse shot from distance. Oh my god, David Silva. Finesse shots have always been OP in FIFA. And that was a screamer from David Silva. Oh my days. What a strike. David Silva. Oof. Oh, Robin. This is it. This is it. I want to cut inside with him, though. I want to cut inside. Let me cut inside with Robin. Please, game. Cutting inside. I and Robin. Finesse shot. Please go in. Oh, we did it, guys. We cut inside with Robin and we score. What a moment. Let's go. 2 0. I literally could have maybe scored from like a normal angle. Instead, I went all the way around, just like how Robin would do to get that in. Oh, let's go, guys. Finesse shots, though. Finesse shots were broken back then. I don't know how we used to play this game. You could finesse from like anywhere and it would just go in. Unreal. Can we do it again with Iron Robin? Can we do it again? Cut inside with Robin. Off the post, but we score from the rebound. Is he offside? No, he isn't. He's not offside. It's. I'm telling you, man. These finesse shots are just so OP. You can bang them in from anywhere. This one came off the post, but it resulted in a goal. I'll take it, though. Uh-oh, they might actually score now. I'm so bad defensively. It's this centre-back Yoshida who scores against me. Brilliant. That's the driven shot as well. He just used the driven shot and that went in. Oh, go on, Yaya Tore with a bit of dribbling. Come on, Yaya. I want to see you score. Yaya Tore. It's a good run. Still Yaya Tore. Oh, Yaya Tore. We get a goal with him as well. Let's go, guys. And he's running away from his teammates for some reason. But awesome to score with Yaya Tore. He'll love to see it. Let's go. Literally just ran through. This is legendary difficulty, by the way. Just goes to show how easy FIFA was back then. On legendary. There you have it, guys. Um, That's it for the game. We end up winning 4-1. Just goes to show how easy FIFA was back in the day. I'm playing legendary. I haven't played this FIFA in, what, three years? And I'm still, like, doing okay. But anyways, we get the job done with that. That's it for the video. It was super fun revisiting an older FIFA. And maybe, guys, I've got an idea for the next video we do. All right, let me show you guys what that idea is. The 2018 FIFA World Cup game mode. Maybe in one of the next videos, maybe next week we take a look at that. Because I remember this mode was a lot of fun for especially the first few weeks. So maybe we take a look at that for the next video. But for now, that's it. FIFA 18 had a bit of fun with that. If you guys did enjoy this video, drop a like, subscribe if you are new around here as well. Make sure you follow me on my Twitch channel because that is where I do um, record these videos. But that's it for today. I'll catch you all next time.